And Ayn Rand, you know, I was telling you offline, she is someone that I consider myself to be a increasingly a closet fan of. I haven't read any of her books cover to cover yet, but I've been working my way through a number of her texts that are published online. Mm -hmm. And I have a high degree of resonance with her as it pertains to freedom, uh, relationship to the government or to the state and her ideas on property. So I'm hoping we can start to get into some of that today. And I, you know, again, I'm going to be really leaning on your understanding because I have not read enough of her yet, but certainly plan uh, to do more of that throughout this conversation. So I started reading The Virtue of Selfishness today. And maybe I'll just open by reading an excerpt of that. So... Ayn Rand writes, yet the exact meaning and dictionary definition of the word selfishness is concern with one's own interest. This concept does not include a moral evaluation. It does not tell us whether concern with one's own interest is good or evil, nor does it tell us what constitute man's actual interest. It is the task of ethics to answer such questions. So my current view on this, this is kind of like the the Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris debate um, about ought and is, right? Like we have science in the world telling us what is to some extent, but the struggle has been how to derive what we ought to do from this set of, you know, objectively determined facts. And it appears to me that Ayn Rand is sort of surfing that edge a bit. She's saying there's an objective dimension to human reason, human morality. Um, Perhaps this gets into natural law. And I'll just state my current views to see how they, they may be shaped throughout our conversation is I I've labeled myself freedom maximalist, Mm -hmm. which is essentially libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, agorist. There's all these different terms, just maximizing mutual consent in all action, right? No, No coercion, basically. But the limiting principle of that, in my current view, is private property rights. Like you, everyone should seek to maximize their own self-interest or their own, I guess, as Ayn Rand would say, selfishness up to the point or up to the boundary of other people's person and property. That's how I think we create the most wealth in the world. And it's also how we resolve the most conflict over scarce resources. So a bit of a mouthful, but I just wanted to kind of put my position out there initially so we can see how yep. it goes through the conversation Absolutely. here. So, so there's a lot of, obviously in common between your views and, and Rand's. Although, again, she we, we've talked about this before. She she was not an anarchist. Uh, she believed in limited government, a government that did not coerce, a government that protected you from coercion. And we can we can get into that. But but let's let's talk a little bit about this is art and selfishness issue because I think this is really at the core of her ideas, and in many respects, the politics are derivative of her ethics. Mm -hmm. Uh, You you start with the ethics, you start with what your purpose is in your life, why, uh, you know, and and, and how to live your life. And the politics kind of come out of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, it it is this question, there's this fundamental question in philosophy uh, about how do we derive and can we derive an art, what one should do from Reality from the nature of existence, from objective fact, from science, from from what's out there, and Ayn Rand said you absolutely can, mm-hmm. and and her the virtue of of uh, selfishness and the first essay in the virtue of selfishness, the objectivist morality, is really geared towards solving the problem, the is art problem, uh, mm-hmm. the problem that, that philosophers have told us over and over again, cannot be solved. That Sam Harris attempts to solve it, I think, somewhat superficially. But it's attempts to solve it, and and that Jordan Peterson is saying you can't do it, forget it, it it's not doable. Um, Rand Rand wrote about this, which of selfishness was published in the '60s, so she wrote about this a long time ago, and I think she had it solved. Hmm. Um, she basically is saying, look, um, 
The fundamental question that human beings have to face at the core of everything else is, uh, to put it in Hamlet's terms, to be or not to be, to, mm -hmm. to live or not to live, to survive or not to survive. We all face a basic alternative. Certain actions we take are going to lead to death. Certain actions we take are going to lead to life. Uh, death is a one-way street, and uh, it's it's you know once we decide we're not going down that street. If we decide we want to die, human knowledge is irrelevant. Ethics is irrelevant. Everything else is irrelevant. What makes ethics, morality relevant is the choice to live. Mm. And once you make the choice to live, then the question is, well, what are the things in reality that are required for us in order to survive, in order to live? How, how as human beings do we live? And that's a scientific question. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, this is poison. Don't take that. This is good food. Yes, right. take that. These are behaviors that will lead to destruction. These are behaviors that will lead to a full life as a human being. These are values that if you take seriously, lead to death. These are values that if you take seriously, lead to life. Um, and basically, the things, the, 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 the ideas, the values, the virtues, that are gonna to lead to life, that are gonna to lead to success, that are gonna to lead to flourishing, that's the good and everything else is bad. And, and that's the good is, that, is, is, is morality, right? The moral mm -hmm. is the good. Uh, you know, morality is a science of, of values. It, it's a science of the values uh, that are essential, that are important for, for uh, leading a life, uh, for, 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 for living one's life. It's a basis on which we make decisions about important things in life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the values and virtues that lead to life are the good and everything else is, is to be avoided and therefore we would label evil or bad. Okay, that's a good... So the is, is if you will, the is is human nature. The is is the, the, the fact that we face this alternative, that we can die. Mm -hmm. The art is all the things, and we can get into the details of what the art is, all the things that make human life possible, that right. support human life and advance human life. Uh, and, and we can get into what those specifically are, uh, particularly what are the principles, the ethical principles that lead to living uh, versus the alternative. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.